Hello everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. Hope everybody's well. Taurus, we're doing your October round two. I'm trying out a different spread. So far, I've done it with Aries. I liked it. We'll see how y'all feel about it. If it isn't received well, I won't do it like this after this set. If it is received well, I'm just going to keep doing it. Because this is the spread where we talk about you and your wants, your strengths, your weaknesses, what needs to go for you for new things to come in, what you got to do. We're talking about you. We're not talking about the energy of the other person. So that's where we're at with this one. Okay. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. I highly doubt it because we're not talking about cross watchers, but if a cross watcher happens to come in and sees it and can see where it's playing out from the cross watcher's perspective, okay, that's fine. But either way, you're more than welcome to hang out cross watchers. Anybody's all more, more than welcome to hang out at my table. I appreciate people stopping by. If you're new here, think we're going to vibe. You might want to hang out more often. You hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. Hit the like button. Also super cool of you. For all my returning friends, where the fuck have you been? I've missed you. I missed your face. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Okay, before I invoke the cards, I want to go over this. And then there's two more things we got to go over before I throw them down. Emperor reversed, Six of Swords reversed, Princess of Pentacles reversed, all decided they wanted to pop out. Hmm. This frightens me a little bit. Somebody's vulnerable. And someone may be encountering a return, but it's not for the apology that they should be getting. So it's impure intentions if you're dealing with somebody who's returning just because you're in a vulnerable state, Taurus. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Shake that out. Two things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if my cards or anybody else's. And two, if it's a natural reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? All right. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, Archangels, ask for any message you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask... You help me use it to clearly and accurately bring Taurus to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Taurus, why are you here? The Queen of Cups in the reverse. Oh boy. Speaking of being vulnerable. Are you experiencing vulnerability to the point where you're emotionally closing yourself off? You ain't giving that cup to nobody. Nope, nope, nope. You done. The cup is empty. All right, honey. What? What? What's your strength? Oh, two decided to come out. <laughs> we'll take them. Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. Hmm, you to catch. And once again, this is a strength and a weakness mixed together. You are the catch. You're highly desirable, highly abundant. You're good on your own. You're amazing. And at the same time, you're, you could potentially be attracting um, toxic people and situations into your life. We'll get clarifiers on this. Well, this is just how I'm viewing it at this point. What's your weakness? The King of Pentacles. <sighs> S 
stubbornness. Damn. We're going to get clarity. Aries got a similar reading, not with two cards, but with the uh, double-edged sword of strengths and weaknesses. Ari, what do you want, Taurus? The star, you want healing. You want to heal from a situation because you're emotionally closed off. You don't want to give that cup to anybody. You don't want to take a cup from anybody. What's got to go? Five of cups, this state of sadness has got to go. Some got to make you turn around and see the blessings that you're not seeing because you're concentrating on spilled cups. Probably ended up tangling up with somebody toxic. What's coming in? Ah, Knight of Cups. The Prince of Cups is coming in. But you have to be open to receive. I mean, granted, it, it's a downgrade. It's not the king. It's a downgrade. But a cup is a cup. They may not be able to match your level, but they're sure as shit gonna try. Alright. What you gotta do? The hermits. Go inside. Find the inner light. Walk that spiritual path of healing. What's the potential outcome? The Four of Pentacles. Mm. Not sure how I feel about that because that's someone who's very much crossed over. Guarding what they have. Emotions, possessions. This is like, for me, this is like the Cups and the Pentacles mixed. Because this is protecting everything at all costs. Sitting on the goods. Alright. Let's get some clarity. Inner source spirit guides. Can I get clarity for Taurus? For October round two, please. Clarity for Taurus, October round two. At some point, I have got to replace this deck. I'm just going to free shuffle it. Alright. Talk to me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. Talk to me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. For Taurus's strengths. Ten of Cups. Page of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. You're good on your own. You don't need happiness to be complete. You're good. Why the Page of Wands? Oh my. King of Swords. King of Swords. <laughs> Childlike faith and impulsivity? With a side of well thought out.
Why the Four of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. Well, it's a mixed bag, so you're getting a mixed bag. You know what to close the door on. You know what to keep on lockdown. Why the Nine of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. Never let him see you sweat. Never let him see you sweat. It's like you put on this mask. You put on this face. You lock it up. You're like tweaker level anxious on the inside, but they never see you sweat. I think you're breaking your chains with this devil. I think you've been able to break your chains because you're good. You're good. What's your weakness? What's your weakness? Why is the King of Pentacles here for the weakness for Taurus? Queen of Wands. You want what you want, and you want it now. You don't care what anybody else thinks, because you're stubborn! Temperance. I don't see hope and faith as a weakness. I don't th see trying to th keep things fair and balanced as a weakness. Unless you're doing it to a fault. Three of Wands. You wait it out. You're patient. Sometimes patience is a weakness because we hang on to things a little bit too long. And sometimes when we hang out to things a little bit too long, it can be emotionally draining. And the Queen of Wands in the reverse is slightly emotionally drained. Slightly emotionally drained to the point where she just doesn't want to give or receive a cup from anybody ever again. I think that's where you're at. But they're not seeing you sweat. Why is the star here for what Taurus wants? Oh, wow. Gosh, everything's hitting the floor. Nothing showed itself to me, and it's three cards. We're putting them back. Why is the star here? Thank you. Knight of Cups reversed. You want to heal. You're not taking cups. You're not receiving cups. You're rejecting cups. Probably closed out a couple of dating apps. Deleted some profiles. You just want to heal. Okay, what's got to go? One card of what's got to go. Sadness. Five of Cups. Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. Some of y'all might have a little bit of a bad attitude about love. That's got to go too. Don't let somebody spill in your cups. Give you an attitude problem. Because that's not good either. That's equally bad. Equally toxic. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. I know you're standing by the ocean adding more salt with your tears. And I get it because you're sad. But don't stay in that place. The star and the devil... got to go so you can heal because part of that healing process is being able to let new things in being comfortable with the idea it's detaching from the toxicity 
your strength, part of your strength was becoming this queen over here. Knowing that you're this queen. Knowing that you have value. Knowing that you have worth. Even if somebody else couldn't see it. This is the energy you bear. This is the energy within you. This is your strengths and your weaknesses. Don't let either one of them defeat you. You got to detach fully to heal. But you have to maintain a positive attitude. So eventually you have to step away from the shore. Eventually, you have to turn to walk away from the shore and see the cups behind you that you still have. <clears throat> Why is the Knight of Cups here for what's coming in? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Four of Cups. What's coming in? <laughs> A cup you're going to contemplate because there's 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 three empty cups down there. It's an offer coming in. Right now, you're in absolutely no place. None. Because you're still here. And it got to go. It's got to go. Why is the hermit here? This is what you got to do. Why is the hermit here? Yes! You got to walk the walk. You got to go inside. You have to listen to your intuition. Don't ever expect an apology from this person because you're probably not going to get one. It's not about what you could have done better. It's about what they could have done better. Hate to be that person, cross watcher. I don't know it takes two to tango. But, Taurus, you got to go inside. You got to walk the walk. You have to do the spiritual path. You have to do the healing. You have to listen to your intuition. Because you know, you know what you got. You know what you got. You got the package. Get this amazing package, but you held on to something a little bit too long. Because you didn't want to let go of it because you're stubborn. You waited it out. You were patient because you wanted it that bad. And if it didn't want you, fuck them. Fuck them. But don't have a bad attitude toward the next guy. Because that's called emotional baggage. Nobody needs that shit. Don't blame this person for something somebody else did. Don't punish this person for somebody else's mistakes. Because all they want to do is hand you a cup. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the outcome? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the outcome? Three of Cups. Three of Wands, Ten of Wands.
in time, you'll be able to release this burden and connect in time. One more. That ship's coming in, baby. Page of Swords, and it's going to be a ship of honesty. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. But if you're looking down at the cups, instead of looking up at the ship, you're not going to see the ship. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? So if you're going to stay by the shore and wait for the ship, at least be looking up waiting for it. Because it's coming. It's coming. What do we got for Taurus? Any additional messages for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? I'm coming down off my soapbox now. I'm coming down off my soapbox. Death. Allow the death cycle to occur. Allow that chubby little caterpillar to come, go into that cocoon and come out a moth or a butterfly. The only real difference is butterflies are prettier and moths eat your sweaters. But still, it's about transformation. Just, just go with it. Empress. Allow for growth. She ain't growing. She ain't growing. This is growth. You have the ability. Allow for growth. Personal growth. Transformation. Allow for the birth of new things. Don't close yourself off to it. Ace of Cups. You have to allow this death cycle to occur. You have to allow the transformation for within yourself. For the growth. So you can take the freaking cup. Mm. Holy Moses. Okay. What do we got? Nine of Cups, Prince of Swords. Okay, give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Ace of Cups. You want ten cups? I know you don't think you need them, but everybody wants them. Part of your strengths is you're good without the cups. And they never see you sweat. But once you can get to this place where you're good within yourself, and you can honestly, truly say, without putting your mask on, that you really don't need the 10th cup, it will come to you. It will. One on this Prince of Swords. Tell me more about this Prince of Swords and we're going to let it go. Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles? Prince of Pentacles. Okay, don't leave yourself closed off to it. This is a process. Whether it comes in quick or it comes in slow, it's coming. But don't leave something good out in the cold. Don't leave something solid and stable out in the cold. Okay? Taurus. Whew, this is an ass kicker. Okay. I love you. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Have one hell of an October. Um, I'll catch my cuss babies here 
think next week, next week, I think I'm starting those on the 13th. Hopefully if I can cycle through these within a week. Um, we're having a special Halloween special after that before I start the November reads. No, scratch that. I'm doing November reads before the Halloween special. Anyway, it's all a jumble, okay? It's all a jumble. So <laughs> just know that you're loved, be blessed, and I will catch you guys next time whenever that happens to be. Take care.